So we met in residency, and I was an intern, and you were a senior medical student, right? I think so. That was 2005. Probably. Yes, 2005. I thought you were super cool. So in residency, um, I decided to do something about my lower lid eye bags because they had been there my entire life and they looked like my mother and my grandmother <laughs> and I was all of about 25. It surprised me because I didn't notice your eye bags. They never stood out to me. It always bothered me. Uh, and then when I began to rotate with the aesthetic surgeons, I realized that this, was a, this could be fixed <laughs> and I was really excited to do it. Um, and so I had a lower lid blepharoplasty through um, my eyelid, so there's no scar on my face, but I had it done transconjunctival, and I had the fat removed from my lower lid. So, and I have always been... I'm gonna stop you there. Okay. How did you decide first that you were gonna do it, and how long between your decision and when you asked one of the uh, surgeons? Well, I'd always wanted to do it, but I didn't know when it would be appropriate, so within a month of being on the service, huh? and having seen a few, I thought, I must have this done. I wonder if they'll help me with it. So did you talk to all of them, or did you have one in particular that you thought was- I did, I surveyed the, the audience, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, I asked lots of them what they would do. Uh -huh. um, and you chose transconjunctival? They helped me decide, yeah. Because uh -huh. um, as a resident, you know, you're know, you not 100% sure, but I didn't have any extra skin, per se, and I had a youthful lid, except for the, the fat compartments. Yeah, how are you as a patient? I'm a terrible patient. I, I am a terrible patient. I have a very low pain threshold, so I tend to not be a great patient for injections or much of anything. So Sarah, have you had Botox? <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I can, because you always look young. Because I've been so mad this whole time you've been talking, you never knew. I did. I did get Botox. I never, I, I really it? didn't think I would because I thought I would just always remain naturally young and beautiful and I hit 40 and suddenly I had two lines here that I'd never had before. And they were just in the mirror one day, just like everyone says. And uh, yeah, and I actually had my PA do it because she does a ton of Botox all the time, so I trusted her. And about seven days later, it had its full effect, but I have one really strong corrugator on one side. So when I would get angry, with my children, this one little spot would kind of peek up. Uh -huh. So I went back to her, she's like, that's fine, we'll just put another two units there. So she did, and it was perfect. And then it wore off probably a little sooner than the three months, and my PA, who teaches me things, said, you, you just need more. You need to not be afraid of putting Botox in your face since you do it to other people. <laughs> and so now I'm up to the standard dose, and I get it every three months on the clock. I am, I'm kind of contemplating a tummy tuck myself. After baby right. number three, uh -huh. I have not been able to get any sort of abdominal tone back, and I am tired of women asking me if I'm pregnant. That sucks. Do you think it matters for abdominoplasties whether people are in shape? Like, I think or we not? all would rather be and operate on people that are in shape because I think it makes the person's life easier, makes the recovery easier, makes right. my life easier right. as a surgeon. That said, it's easier said than done to get yourself in right. shape. Right. Easy to say right. you want to be Sometimes want someone Sometimes it's to be. easier to be put in shape in order to get in shape. Well, right. I think there's some truth to that too. If yeah. you have a big diastasis, if your rectus muscles are split apart a lot, that uh, it can be easier to do your yeah. regular activities if they're returned to center. Yeah, I would um, agree. I would agree. Which is I think you'll feel better when you're exercising. Yeah. Uh, so I so would anyway, love so, to have that done. Yeah, so what's your timing? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm still trying to do it myself, but I feel that I'll probably throw in the white flag soon, but I gotta give it a few more months. I'd also I like mean, to get back to my prepartum weight I, before I think that's baby a, weight. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I think, you know, I think if you're at your ideal weight, you have less risks, surgically speaking. For sure, for sure. So, I think you'll look great. Okay. <laughs>